Yo, what's up, world? It's your boy Philosco here again, and today I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions. You know, questions that people ask me all the time, and I'm finally going to give you an answer so I never have to answer these questions again. But before we go through that, can can I ask you a question? Come here. Do, do you like me? Do you think I'm cool? Is my kitty cute? Do you like my videos? Do you think I'm funny? Do you want me to come to Russia? Have you seen this before? Do you think I'm sexy? Yo, ladies, yeah. Do you think I'm smart? Six divided by four equals one. Point five. Would you like to talk on Skype with me? Did you see me with this hat in the MTV commercial? Do you know when I was younger, I was a student on the television show Gossip Girl? If you answered yes to any of those questions, please don't forget to add my contact or my Facebook page, or even both. But most of all, if you need to learn basic English, begin English right here at beginenglish.ru. They even have all my videos, so don't miss out. Now to the common, three most common mistakes made by Russians when they come to America. Mistake number one. The most common mistake I hear from people who come from Russia and Ukraine to America is how they use the word scared and scary. These two words, scared and scary. They always use them improperly. Now, I could explain how to use them properly, but I don't really feel that's my job because I'm not a professional teacher. But if you go to beginenglish.ru, I'm sure there's someone there who can explain it to you. But be sure to study and research how to use the words scared and scary because they are seriously always used incorrectly always. The second common mistake used uh, made by Russians when they come to America and Ukrainians is forgetting to say a then following it with a noun. For example, I want a new TV or I want a piece of candy or I want a computer. They almost never do that. They say I want computer or I want TV or I want piece of cake. They usually forget how to use the little word A. And if you need to study how to use the word A before you come here or in order to get into a good school, beginenglish.ru. And finally, another common mistake made by Russians and Ukrainians when they come to America is the W sound of wa, wa. Like, if they want to say, I want something, they usually say, I want something or I want. You know, it's when is I want. You know, um, to me it's not hard to make that sound, but I'm sure there's many ways to practice making the wa wa sound, like I want or whatever. You know, things like that. So I don't think I can really teach you how, but that's the third most common mistake. So check out beginenglish.ru, and I'm sure there'll be somebody there to help you. But now to the most commonly asked questions about me, Philochko, so I can answer them here, and I'll never have to answer them again. Now. For well, those questions that people ask me all the time, have them written down. Okay, where do I live? I live in Queens. I live in Queens, New York City. Um, I was born in Brooklyn. New York City has five boroughs. Queens, Manhattan, Brooklyn, the Bronx, and Staten Island. Five boroughs of New York City. Second question. Why do I know Russian? Well, there's two reasons. The first reason I know Russian is because when I was younger, my favorite fighter, his name is uh, Fedor Emelianenko. He's really cool, and I'm sure you guys know who he is. And the other reason... Next question is, how did I learn Russian? Well, me, I basically studied on my computer, and I had a whole lot of Russian and Ukrainian friends who helped me ever since I was, I don't know, 19 years old, and right now I'm 26. Maybe even before that, but I've had a lot of friends mostly, and music, and studying on the computer. Next question. Have I been to Russia? No, but I'm coming. Um, can you teach me English? I cannot teach you English. I could help. I can maybe uh, make a group on Skype and talk to many people at once and help with little things, but I am not an English teacher. I don't have the education for that, even though I am great at speaking English, even to most Americans, I am really good at speaking English because I speak very clearly. 
And um, but all I can say is go to school and go to beginenglish.ru. Uh, and last but not least, will you make learning slang for Russians part four? Yes, I'm going to make it, and it will be released pretty soon in June. <laughs> Got about three weeks, you know. So um, that's basically it. That's the end of this video. And um, don't forget um, to send me your tongue twister videos of then in the middle of Little Italy, little did we know that every riddle to middle man who didn't do diddly because I'm still waiting for them. You have until June 1st. So you have two weeks left to send me your videos and the ones I like, I will keep and make, I'll put them in my video in June. Okay? I guess that's it. Later.